Hello everyone, this is KJ. Welcome back to The Infected. The Infected, I think this is season four. Uh, to start off with, uh, we are going to do uh, the very beginning of the game tutorial. And uh, if you hold down F, it tells you the tutorial tasks. We're gonna do uh, almost all those things today and the rest of them on the next episode. The first thing that we need to do is find out where we are. We are over here. Uh, during season four, we're going to build a Roman villa, but first we need a place to live. And we're just gonna pick up a stone and try to find a stick. We'll try to stay out of the sun as much as we can. Now we have a stick and a stone. We're gonna go ahead to our personal crafting table, which is right there. And we're going to uh, shift, click, shift right click, or excuse me, alt right click, uh, each the stick and the stone onto the crafting table and craft. And that goes automatically into slot one right there which is in fact where I like my ax to be. Uh, let's see, we have a choice. Uh, we can put our starter cabin over here. This is usually a nice place. Uh, or we can put it over by the cave, which is always shady. But we are gonna have to clear all of these trees and all these rocks out of here in order to build the villa. Let me tell you a little bit about my beginning of game settings. I went over a little bit of it in the UI tutorial, but a lot of you didn't see that. Um, the uh, the in-game settings that I start with are predators and fambies disabled, uh, and everything else is on normal. So no god mode, no free build. Uh, here's this cave. It's got its own water source right there. And if we put the cabin over here, we will be well out of the way. So let's start chopping down a couple of trees. We're only gonna need a couple of the ones that are over here. And uh, for those of you that saw uh, season one, I think it might have been, um, then this is exactly the same way that we started season one. Uh, we're going to go into our book here and look for construction and others and we're going to grab ourselves a shelter and i'm just turning this with the mouse wheel trying to decide exactly where i want it to be that's probably good right there and i'll hit e to make it sit and then i'll add logs it only takes four logs for that The next thing that we need is a campfire. So once again, we're gonna go in and look in this book and placeables, food, and there's a campfire. I'll put it off in uh, one corner so it's out of the way. Now, whenever we pick up uh, some stones, we can toss them in there. And then we need to start making some planks, though we're probably going to be moving uh, any saw benches that we build over to the main site uh, after we build this. So saw bench is the first thing under placeables and we'll straighten it out. And we'll put it right there. I think uh, we will probably need to put up some log stands or some stick stands to protect ourselves. Because I won't leave the animal, the predators and bambies won't be off for long. They're just going to be off right now. Takes quite a bit, um, quite a few uh, axes to build the first part um, of your build because um, you're just stuck with this little stone axe. I'll, you basically picked up a rock and a stick off the ground. <laughs> That's all you did. All right, let's drop that and go find rocks. And we'll pick up sticks if we see any. And we're also looking for food. We only need 10 rocks, so don't get carried away. But don't worry about picking up everything because it will all come again 
It just drops normally. That's five. There's some over here. Oh, that's not a rock. That's a raccoon. A crazy raccoon. There's a yummy melon. We will grab that. And a stick. Six sticks. Or six rocks, rather. I might have to make a pickaxe to find rocks today. Oh, there's some potatoes. So potatoes are something we cook. And now I'm out of energy. And here is a corn plant. I also didn't cover uh, sun resistance. You can adjust uh, sun resistance on or off. Um, but it doesn't seem to be like if you if I just stood here in the sun, it would start eating away at me. It's down to 96 now, 95. But just moving in and out of the shade. Here's a watermelon. That part of our pack is almost full. Looks like I am going to have to make a pick. There's a deer. They're super fast. You need a bow and arrow for that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and drop those in there really quickly. And uh, now we need another one because that was foolish. I needed one of those. <laughs> oh, feathers. You find dead birds laying on the ground. There we go. There we go. All right, let's open up that and put our stone there where we'll make a stone blade. Um, and then we can go into itempedia and weapons and stone pickaxe. We need one stick, one blade, and two plant fiber. So we are going to alt right click one stick, one blade, and two plant fiber. And now that goes automatically into the second slot. And as soon as I can find the second slot, there's another one. Now, what do we need? Three more. I wonder if we can manage three more. Oh, let's just break something up. Oh, is that a cucumber as well? Boy, we're going to have to make a box right away. All right, is that? Uh, here's one over here that won't have copper so I won't have to store it. Let's go ahead and eat this. We're going to hold right click button and then click with the left one. Just hold down the right mouse button and click with the left one. And now we can harvest that or we can pick it up and carry it to camp. This is going to take quite a few strikes. Again, it's just a stone we picked up off the ground. We only need three of these, and since we're not down there in the mining field, if you look on the map, it shows that this is a mining field or extraction site. We don't have to worry about uh, the copper because it's down here in this brown area. And the way that you accomplish this is uh, you turn off the foliage. All right, there's that. Now we need some firewood. There's a couple of different ways to get firewood. You can harvest it out of your logs, just like that. We'll go ahead and drop that in. And I'm going to pick up these sticks because we need them. Uh, or you can cut firewood uh, out of dead stumps like this. This takes quite a few hits. so. We'll just sit there. <laughs> there is a cheatery way to make this work faster. Uh, I've never done it um, because it doesn't make any difference to me whether um, I cut by hitting the button once or I cut by holding the button down. All right, there is our campfire. And now we have a place where we can start dumping bark chips, which take up a lot of room. And so are these seeds. Normally... Um, I would make a box first. So let's go ahead and cut down some of these smaller trees. The next thing to, uh, on the uh, tutorial is to build a foundation. 
Uh, we're actually going to build a house, so we're going to need a lot of these. Uh, this house has nothing to do with the villa, which is the main point of season four, is the Roman villa. That villa is going to take a super long time to build. Um, I did a test run in free build mode. Here is an onion. Um, I did a test run in free build uh, mode, and I didn't get it done. It, I spent an hour uh, working on it without having to pick up any resources at all, and it, and it was only like a third of the way done. <laughs> all right, where should we put our little starter house? I want it to be kind of nice and big enough. Let's take this tree. Oops. <laughs> Backed away. <laughs> and I'm just making planks here as I go. We'll go ahead and grab all of that. Um, you don't have to worry about logs on the ground or tools on the ground uh, or planks. So if I pick up a plank by, the, by accident, I can just throw it on the ground. It will be there um, forever. <laughs> All right, let's get this part done super fast. Uh, I think we will do it right here. We're gonna go into this book and construction and we're gonna start with foundations. Uh, we can do a round house uh, or we can do a square house. We're gonna need a little bit of room off the ground in order to meet that hillside. All right. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. And we'll just grab these really quickly to satisfy the tutorial part. Four logs, six planks. Can't pick up six planks. There's five. I'll pick up that one. And there is a foundation. And now on the tutorial, the only thing left to do is to build a forge and make an ingot we're going to do that inside of a building. <laughs> so let's see. I've been toying with doing, doing this because I think it'll give us more room. Uh, yeah, I think that's right. And then that one needs to be turned and turned, and then we need a square right there. Oops. Not many of these are going to be straight because these don't straighten themselves, but we'll straighten that one. Oops. <laughs> Escape instead of tab. Uh, tab is what I use to get in and out of menus. Uh, not everyone does. You can change that uh, in your um, options, and we'll go into options right there and key. So if you don't like um, to open your inventory with tab, you can come in here and change that. And whatever else you like to do, I change helmet light to T because that's what it is in No Man's Sky. <laughs> so um, that's the only other game that I have that kind of light available to me. And um, so I just sort of try to change these to match all the games together. And... Uh, yeah, it takes uh, um, someone who's been playing a lot of games uh, to care, really, about these things. Excuse me, rock. That rock's got to go. <laughs> Give me that. These uh, rounded pieces, these corner pieces, are new to the game. And... Um, is that the last one I was holding? Very good. And uh, so I've never built a, a first house with them before. <laughs> I built a little bit of a uh, gazebo. It came towards the end. Uh, the update came towards the end of my last build. And uh, so I just added a little gazebo in the center. I built a huge fort. And uh, we are going to revisit that uh, fort uh, in the wintertime when it's winter time in that game. And uh, when I get the wiring done, 
Uh, I might take you along for some of that wiring. Um, that was four, that was four. That one was not. That one is good, and that one's good. All right, everything else makes planks. <clears throat> um, so I might take you along for some of that wiring. Um, it is it is certainly a necessary part of the progression for the game, um, but not it's not an easy thing to learn. And so I've been through it. Once again, I've been through it with No Man's Sky. We're gonna put potatoes on here for right now. We'll go get some fish in a minute. And our lighter is right there. There we go, woohoo. Um, but I need to make a crate first to drop some stuff off. So I'm gonna put that in placeables, storage crate, storage containers first. You can turn it around or leave it. It doesn't matter which way it's facing. It operates just the same. And eight planks. There we go. All right, seeds. I am shifting and right mouse clicking. Fiber, uh, we will keep a stone. Sticks, we're gonna make a stick stand and feathers. And those are both seeds. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. We need one more stick for a stick stand. A little log. What are you doing there? <laughs> All right. I'll try to pick up a stick in just a minute. We need to make a ton of planks now. And I'll just get these going and then cut down a tree or 12. There is, uh, if you are, if you are playing this game, recognize that you're playing a game that is in early access. And yes, the game is a slightly over a year old. Um, it takes a long time to develop a game. And so, you know, I would say, you know, definitely come to the Discord, um, which I will link below. Definitely come to the Discord and tell us if you're having difficulties. Um, come and talk to us. We are there. Um, there are several people whose names are sort of dark, yellowish, brownish colored on the Discord. Mine is one of them. Um, we are helpers. We're there to help people with the game. And understanding that the game is in early access means that things can change uh, on the fly. And um, our developer, who is a single, single developer by himself, uh, has hired out some work, but um, he is developing the game on his own. And um, so he does sometimes need... Uh, some help and definitely telling us um, if something is not working is super important. Um, let's put a stick stand in in placeables in storage and you can see there's several stands here stick stand, log stand, plank stand, and firewood stand and that's the first one I'm going to make. I'm going to get rid of the bark chips and uh, we still need sticks and we still need tons and tons of lumber. Hi. <laughs> Poor thing. <laughs> he, just, he just looked up at me and died. Maybe I need a bath. We will go take a bath uh, here in just a moment because we need some food. We have a huge pile. It's not probably nearly enough. I've never built a starter house this big before. Hello. There you go. I think that's the last one. All right. Yep, game's starting to lag. That's a huge pile. <laughs> All right, now we need uh, some sticks. So we'll take this log right here, and we're going to break it up. And we're going to break up um, two of the firewood. We'll save some of the firewood. And I can't pick it up, so let's go drop this. Oops, went the wrong way around the rock, rock on the right. <laughs> let's 
drop those off and go grab this stuff before it disappears. There we go. All right, we need a firewood stand. That's three, four, five, six. And we'll just plunk that right there in placeable storage and firewood stand. I'm gonna use that to block animals off. There we go. And now we need to make a spear. So we'll go into itempedia over here and stone spear, which is right there. We need one blade, three sticks, and five plant fiber. So I picked up a rock. There's my personal crafting table and a blade and uh, three sticks. Three, three sticks, there we go. So we can uh, move this open. There we go. Now we can move it over there and then alt and two, three, four, five. There's a spear. It's in number three. Let's go fishing. Now it's all dark and dreary and hard to see because it's raining. <laughs> oh, pumpkin. Yummy. Uh, where's the water? So that's how dark and dreary it is. So we don't need much. Uh, fish do keep for a long time if you don't fillet them. There we go. That's four pieces of fish. It'll keep uh, out there on the campfire just as easily. Now we can carry the pumpkin. I don't need to crack that open. <laughs> All right, let's drop the pumpkin. Where'd the pumpkin go? There it is. Now then, uh, in order to uh, cook the fish, we need to fillet it. So we'll drop it on the ground and right click and harvest and harvest and pick up our two potatoes and put the fish in there. Oops, that is not a fish. It is far too round to, to be a fish. There we go. And uh, we're also gonna drink our water. We have room for 59 water or 69 water there. We have 60 on us. Now it's empty. So we're just gonna dive into the cave right here. And look down at the water and hold our flax over the add water button. There we go. And I am going to go ahead and fill this up. So I'm going to run back and forth super fast before each, uh, before that water finishes cooking. There we go. It's very dark and uh, cold and scorpiony. <laughs> scorpiony. There's many scorpions. <laughs> scorpions just drop right off the ceiling or crawl out of the walls. And uh, it's pretty horrifying. They don't do too much damage, but they can infect you and uh, it can get just worse and worse. Now our bucket holds uh, 200 water. And uh, for some reason I'm not engaged on it. There we go. It holds 200. Uh, next time we'll go and get some aluminum and we will make more. All right, let's get this done. Can't hold very much, so we need to get rid of something here. That's a box for. There we go. Now we can hold a ton more. I'll drop that on there. <laughs> I'm trying to rush this part a little bit. Oh, do I need two planks? Okay. One, two. All right. Now then, now we need to be able to get up and down stairs. I think we will put, um, we're gonna come down here to stairs. I think we'll just put a simple ramp right there. That's the fastest thing to do. And it's the most direct thing to do, just three logs, four planks. There we go. You can't jump with logs in your hand. So here's our little starter house. We need to have a roof. So in order to put in a roof, we're gonna 
put in this straight wall. There we go. And that's only three logs and four planks as well. There we go. And it looks like we're going to go into ceilings. I'm just going to grab a regular ceiling here. Also three logs, four planks. The foundation takes more and the curved walls take more. But that's okay because all of these trees will grow back in a few days. It takes five days for the trees to grow back. And a long, long time from now when we start going to town, um, the towns take 10 days to respawn. We are gonna be super duper dependent on this town right here. Every 10 days, we're probably gonna go to town and get parts for things that we need. Um, there we go, I need some. I think I picked up too many. There we go, one, two, three, four, and that is all of those. Uh, the last thing that we're gonna make today is going to be a bed, placeables, furniture, and bed. And we're just gonna plunk it down. It doesn't have to be out of the rain. It takes six planks. So now we need to cut down some trees. Good grief. <laughs> You notice if you watch a lot of uh, content creators, um, they they tell you to get all your forges going on day one. Um, it's not that really that important. We have everything that we need to live until winter time. So in the winter time, it'll be too cold for this kind of a setup. Um, but as for um, surviving, we can go fishing. There's plenty of fruits and vegetables laying around. Um, the pumpkin, if you want to know how long it has, you have to hold down your right mouse button, and then it'll tell you. It's got two hours of game time left, and that's plenty. There is six planks. There is our bed, and there is our starter house. And that is where we are at for day one. All right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. Uh, more content on this really soon. Uh, it's been really, really hard to, like, sort of move and um, get the house organized and cleaned up, especially with uh, my family constantly moving more stuff in that's filthy. <laughs> so I'm trying to get this stuff done, and I'm sorry it's taking me so long. But in the meantime, have a good night. It is nighttime now. Uh, if you hold down F, it can tell you. Day one, 9.31 p.m. Uh, just a couple of things left to do on the tutorial, and we are set to go. So thank you so much for coming along. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click the like button, or go ahead and subscribe. I'll make more beds. And click the like button. And as always, have an amazing day.